ngồi tàn nhiên Hello everyone, it's me, Ivan, a year boy. Today, I'll show you how to make part 7 of Super Mario. First, save your project as a new copy and name it, and rename it. And now, today we are going to be adding drops through platform like collecting coin and also collecting coins and other stuff. Because you you should see like like the blue platforms is supposed to be like fire, supposed to be solid. I mean not non solid, but only a solid if we walk on them. And also the bushes should be walk throughable and not be solid at all. And now if I lay down some coins. We, Mario can perfectly step on them because every solid in this game is treated all solid. And also, if I place press, if I place like we are, we also gonna add, also gonna add spawn points. Now you can just place down whole lots of Mario copies like those. Those are like spawn points. You can just go crazy with them, but but. But we're gonna fix that soon. Like we can walk on these Mario. I'm just gonna remove them so it looks cleaner. So before we start, Before we start, let's make a new list named Tile Shape. For all sprites. And show the Tile Shape. I'm just going to make it bigger. We're going to do a simile for the Tile Key Map list, like in the editor sprite. Because we're going to adding like lots of rows. We're gonna like, like add lots of rows. That's and it's gonna it's like a tile shape. It's like an ID for each tiles that's in the game. Like if it's solid or non-solid or walks throughable or collectible or anything. So let's let's get started. Now show the tile shape and in the tile sprite. We're well, actually not in the tile spray. In the Mario spray, meant. Under the, just first go find the, I'll just go find the. Get. Go find the get tile at x, y. And we get new variable named tile shape for this spray only. And then go into the tile spray, go into costume. Let's let's add two two blank wait. Let's add two blank ro rows for the first two tile costume, and for the third one, it's a solid. So let's use a hash symbol. Keep doing that until until ten. Done. For 11, it's non solid, so leave it blank. Do that until 16. And for the 17th costume, it's it's walk, it's walk, let's put equal symbol. For the 20th, for like the mystery block costume, let's also put hash. And keep doing that until, oops, 
Let's see instead. And for 24, it's a coin, so it leaves an empty blank. And for 28, it let's also leave it blank. And for the for the gumba, let's leave it blank also. For the life also. For the bush, uh, it's still empty. And for the cloud, it's an equal symbol. And for the orange platforms, the top one, this one is equal. This one's equal. This one equal. And to 36 to 41, it's all blank. And for, for 42, it's solid, fully solid. So put hashes. And do that until 45. For 46, it's a star, like the star power. Also, 40, 48 is and blank 50. Let's do. Let's not worry about the slope, sloping tiles. But I, but I will add the grass because it's a full block. We will cover slope uh, in some other episodes. But for the grass block for 50, let's just add a hash like that. Everything should look like this. You should have length of 50 in your list. So hide the list. Now let's make the list do something. In the Mario sprite, get, go find the set, get tile at X, Y, and, and duplicate it. And duplicate and put a set tile shape to Item tile of tile shape. Then go find the fixed color. What was it? Fixed position at point x y. And before after the get tile x y x y, put a if and check if tile i tile shape equals the empty value then we stop the scripts like that and now if we test now if the floor is solid and all the blocks are good if we can now walk through coins we can also walk through the bushes as well but we can jump through the jump through platforms now let's make so, so we if we touch the coins, we can collect them. So let's do it. And also now, if we lay some of those like clouds down like that, you can also it's solid. I know. Well, when we add jump to when we add like jump to platforms, then we will add it. But now let's see the zigzags. Let's add. I'm just gonna add the zigzags, like the black curtain thing. I'm just gonna add it. it might take some time. So yeah, just gonna fill this in, and now I'm just gonna remake the floor. And we can also be sure that we can like walk through here, walk through like the black curtain. So good. Now let's make if we like collect coins. If I were to put some coins over here, okay. So let's continue. We can still respawn good, and also we don't need the if tile is greater than two, so delete that also. 
So now fix collision at point X, Y should be like this. Now go and get, find the get tile at X, Y. I mean not, not, find the check around player and, and drag a get tile at X, Y block. And put the X variable and the Y variable as input. And check if tile it is greater than, I mean is equal. But um, I'll test greater. Well, we'll do anything. Equal and then equal to twenty four. Then we replace, re, replace item tile of tile grid with two. Like that. Now if we see we now we can wait. Not replace tile. Replace one with with two. Replace item one. Wait, not one. Oh, I can't. Why did I keep making this tile index of tile grid with two? Like that. Now you see we can collect coins, but we can't collect those upper coins yet. Now we just in, just ensure that. If you click the green flag or go into editor mode, the the coin still reappears. Good. Let I just do something a bit cool like twenty four greater than twenty four. Like any tile that's greater than twenty four, I'll just Cool. Now you can collect the, like the other items. I just like experimenting with stuff. Maybe when. I'm just. I like experimenting. Oh, like some tiles are not. Well, I'll just change that back to 20, equal to 24 to make it good. So now let's make a new custom block named check around player at x colon and the input of x and the label of y colon and the input of y. Run without screen refresh. And just simply drag the get tile x, y, and its bottom scripts here. And, and drag out a check around, just so it, yeah, at x, y, and put it where it came from. And put the x variable and y variable as the input. And instead of get tile x variable and y variable, put the in, original check around player at x, y's input. Oh. Done. Then we duplicate that. And for the Y, for the first one, put a Y minus 8. And for the second one, do Y plus 8. Now as you can see, we can collect two blocks high coins. We can collect two block high coins. We can also reset. So that's good. Let's see if we can collect the other coins. Yep, it's looking good. And now, something's cool that you can like now place like multiple coin areas. You can even write your name. If you like. It looks good. So let's continue. Now let's have a count for coins. Go into variable and make a new variable named coins for all sprite. And he, and change the coins by one here. And under the game loop custom block, put a set 
coin, set coins to zero. Now if we click the green flag, I'll open the hide it. Every coin we collect, it counts a coin. Now if we have, want to place more coins somewhere like here, like the coin variable like increases. If you want, you can also like, you can do all sorts of cool things with coins. Maybe you can like write your full name with coins. I'm just gonna write my first two letters. It's always cool to experiment. Like you, you can also like plus and minus different values to plus and I'm just gonna place a multi, lots of coins everywhere. Later the mystery blocks, like we can bump in episode 10, we can like the coin, coin counter also go up. So let's continue. Now we're gonna, now let's do something way more cooler. Let's now add the, like the blue jumping, jumpsuit platforms. So let's do it. Go f locate the define fix. fix. Locate the define fix collisions in directions. And then we're going to edit the fix collision at point and add a new label named part and the input of part also. Just don't mind that I'm using caps lock. Now for the both minus height, put feet as a value. Other ones, sleep blank. Go locate the fixed collisions at point X, Y, part. Now under the fixed collision at point, I'm just gonna clean up blocks. Uh, yep, here. Drag them to some free space and move the set solid to 10 under the set mod and Y. Before the salt set solid to 10, put an if. And check if the if tile shape equals equals. So that's a, like the jump shoot platform. And then we put another if checking for a not Part equals feet or just mute or mod y minus mod y minus fix dy is less than thirty two. Then we stop the script. Done. Now click the green flag and let's test. Whoa, wait a second. Oh yeah, I cha I I accidentally changed like the if tile index equals the uh, equals sign. So it's a tile shape, not tile index. So sorry about that. Now if we test, we can now jump through and land perfectly on the platforms. We can also, we can also jump, jump Susie's. And so now if we play some orange platforms, everything should still work the same. I'm gonna I'm just gonna build it here. Later we're gonna I'm just gonna build like a structure. Later we're gonna add tile auto, auto tile arrange. So So I'm just gonna look that I'm just gonna make everything. Better. I'm just gonna make it. done. Now we can jump. I'm just gonna make maybe a blue platform over here also. gonna make it like that.
Just gonna say go through the tiles. And I'm also gonna add like a mystery block so we're done. Now we can test. Yep, it works perfectly. We can land on the orange platform and everything's working the same. We can also collect coins. Perfect. And now let's test the cloud platforms. Yep, the cloud platforms are working perfectly. Also, I'm gonna do some more experiment with the cloud platforms. Like, I'm gonna make like a small area of clouds here, like this. Like a cloud, cloud party. We can stand on them, we can land on them. And also, no weird collision if we jump to them. Yep, everything is working great. And also check if we can use the cloud and land on the blue platforms. Good. Everything is working perfectly. And also, if we left every single other brink, we can just, we can, we can just cycle through some of the items. Now we can also walk through the Mario, the Mario thing, like the spawn point. Good. So let's add the ability so we can like press the down key and drop to a platform. Drag if and check if down under down of controls. Down of controls is greater than zero. Then we also stop the script and put that in the if tower ship equals it equals. And now we can see. Now we can drop to Z's platform if we hold the town key. Yep. I'm just gonna also test them on the cloud platforms. Oops, I'm just gonna go. The orange platforms, yep, the blue works. The orange works. The cloud also works. I'm just gonna test it. Done. And also, if we can test if we. Yep. Oops. I think I added like the. I'm just gonna fix something. In the tile shape, I think. What is the problem? Uh, what is the problem? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to match the costume. It's 41. Oops, 41 is not solid. Now we hide the tile came out list. Now I'm just going to go to the place. Yep, I can run through. And you can also press 0 and press L and keep switching levels, like level 2. And now we can also add the same thing. Now, let's make spawn points. In the tile spread, uh, where's the Mario costume? Yep, Mario Walk 1. You should see everything's positioned nicely. So, wait, before anything, I'm just gonna double check. Oh yeah, it's not. So I'll just shift and drag. I'm just gonna go Victor. I'm just picking up what to do. I think this should be enough. I'm just going to click the thing. Psycho series. Oh. 
Yep, this is enough. Now we got more real buddies, but we'll fix that. And I can just place a spawn point here and load level two. And also I'm gonna, I'm gonna place a spawn point here. Three, I'm gonna place a spawn point here also. Like now you should see, you can place as many spawn points as you want, but we'll fix that. I'm just going to delete. Good. Now, let's see if it's right there. I'm just going to. Oops. Just going to delete these. And zero. And stop. And I'll just try to go three. Yep. One. Mario. Now. Let's start now. Let's make so that we can't on, on each level we can't place more than mar one Mario. So make a new variable named found index for this part only. And under the oh, where is it again? Move player. Before the replace item to have tile on the extra brush, put a uh, if. Check if tile equals 28. Then we simply set found, set found index to item hash in item hash. Wait, not tile, brush, I meant. If brush equals 28, set found index to item hash brush of tile grid. Then we simply, rep then we put a replace found index of with 2. I'm just going to place it before the replace. Now, you just see, we can't, if we just select the Mario. The old Mario disappears. We can place as many Marios as we want. Like, but the Mario just stays, like teleports to the, your mouse cursor. See? working great so let's continue let's make a new event named under the one green flag name it level wait, oops level start game loop heighten respawn like that And then let's drag it when I receive level start game loop respawn. And drag the reset player and game loop custom block under it. And drag it when I receive le level done loading. And make a new variable named spawn index. For this sprite only. Set spawn index to item hash 28 in tile grid. 28 in tile grid. And drag an if condition. If editor is less than 1. And drag. And then we simply replace spawn index of tile grid with two like that wait is 
They're working. And now go find the defined reset. I'm just gonna find it. Reset player. And set and un and drag it if else. And duplicate the set X and Y two more times. And put the second and third one in like that. And check if if spawn index is greater than zero, then then we drag a floor for the X and we drag out divided by and the minus on the left of the division on the right of the minus put one on the, the left put spawn index and divide that all by grid height oops like that then for the y drag out a mod put it in there and on the left of the mod put Spawn index minus one on the right, put grid height. Like that. And then else, put both of the values set it to 3 3. Easy. And then, for the. For the like the. I'm just gonna move this. The set x and y to 100 at the below, put. Drag out a, a plus. And drag it a multiply operator and put it on the left of the plus. And on the left of multiply, put well, x multiplied by 3d2 plus 16. And do that for the y. But just set it to y. Multiply, multiply. Now you should see we spawn out the spawn point. Good. If we click the green flag, yep, we spawn it there. We can also now change it on. I'll change it here. Now if we click the green flag, yep, we spawn there. Still respawn, yep, the respawns to the spawn point. Good, and instead of plus 16 for the Y, let's do plus height. So now if we click the green flag, yep, now it's the same. We just added some code. Also let's set camera X to X and set camera Y to Y at below. And also let's set speed X to zero and speed Y speed Y to zero and also point in direction 90 when we start. And put it just before the move camera. Now we're facing good. Now if I have to, like face left, yep, we're facing right. Now go into editor sprite, and under the one L key press, L key press. Instead of level start broadcast level start game loop, let's broadcast level start game loop response. Same in the R one R key first, and the last thing. In the in the like when zero key press in in the if when editor greater than zero before the level start broadcast level start game move broadcast level done loading. Good. Now if we press zero, yep, everything works good. And if we run over here and go to zero and press L. Put two. Yep, we respawn. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just gonna test a bit more.
Good, everything's a super part of having a Super Mario. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and smash the subscribe button and and turn on the notification button to view the latest video. I hope bye. See you next time.